In recent years, the concept of wokeness has become a prominent feature of sociopolitical discourse, initially rooted in a commendable desire to highlight and address issues of social injustice and inequality. Wokeness has in many circles evolved into a term that encapsulates a specific approach to these issues that is increasingly seen as divisive and counterproductive. This 500-word discussion aims to unpack why a growing segment of society feels that wokeness is neither needed nor wanted in its current form. Firstly, one of the main criticisms of wokeness is its perceived shift from promoting awareness to enforcing a rigid set of ideologies. The original intent of being awake to societal injustices is universally laudable. However, the evolution of this concept has led some to feel it now promotes an intolerance for differing viewpoints. The irony is not lost when a movement initially championing inclusivity and open-mindedness is viewed as exclusive and closed to alternative perspectives. This perceived inflexibility is one reason why many argue that wokeness in its current state is counterproductive to constructive societal dialogue. Another significant concern is the impact on freedom of speech and open discourse. The fear of misstepping or being labelled as insensitive or offensive has led to what many describe as a culture of self-censorship. In academic institutions, businesses and social platforms, the pressure to conform to a specific set of standards often attributed to wokeness can stifle creativity, innovation and the free exchange of ideas. This environment can create echo chambers where critical thinking and robust debate are undervalued narrowing the intellectual landscape. Furthermore, the focus on identity politics, often associated with wokeness, is seen by some as a divisive force rather than a unifying one. Critics argue that this approach fragments society into competing factions by emphasizing differences and grievances between groups, undermining the pursuit of common goals and shared values. The emphasis on group identity over individuality can also overlook the complexity and nuance of individual experiences and viewpoints. The impact of wokeness on policymaking and institutional practices is another area of contention. Critics argue that policies influenced by woke ideologies may prioritize ideological purity over practicality and effectiveness. There are concerns that such policies might need to adequately address the complexities of economic, social and cultural issues, leading to unintended consequences that could exacerbate the problems they aim to solve. Lastly, the rise of wokeness has undeniably contributed to cultural and political polarization. The backlash against what is perceived as woke culture has intensified divisions, with some feeling alienated and misunderstood by its narratives. This polarization is detrimental to social cohesion and constructive discourse, essential for addressing the issues wokeness seeks to highlight. In conclusion, while the roots of wokeness in social awareness and justice are vital and commendable, its current manifestation raises significant concerns. The path forward requires re-evaluating how we approach social issues, emphasizing inclusivity, open dialogue and a willingness to embrace a diversity of perspectives. Through this balanced approach, society can effectively address injustices and inequalities without sacrificing the principles of free speech, individuality and constructive debate.